Hello StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Morrow and Railgun on Frozen Temple. Yes, another game on Frozen Temple. I kind of like this map. It's fairly standard <clears throat> and there are no gold bases. And let's get right on into it. <laughs> In the top left side of the map we have the Red Terran player. It is Morrow representing Team Property. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the blue Zerg player. It is Railgun, representing Romedy uh, Gaming. Is that what it is? Yes, that's what it is. All right, so a TVZ here on Frozen Temple for you today. And let's see how this one is going to go down. Again, here on Frozen Temple, you have this narrow ramp up to your main base, right down to your natural, which is a very, very wide opening, difficult to defend if you are a Protoss player or a Terran player. I'm sure they'll not be happy about that one. And then a third that is super wide open here as well. So an aggressive Zerg player should have a pretty good time on this map. Fourth base, fairly easy to take as well if you're the Terran player up on this particular position. And then just a giant, giant area uh, in order to defend from the Zerg as well. These rocks don't really provide too much defense against anything or really cause anything different about the map. I mean, these rocks provide a straight shot to the Zelnaga Watchtower. But otherwise, you can just go around to get anywhere else you need to go. So I don't know exactly what the purpose of these ones is. If you if you know, let me know in the comments. And I'll be sure to make mention of it in my next game. But look at this. A pull first here from Railgun. Pull first into his hatch. Alright, so pull there. No extractor. There it is. And the extractor. So he wants to have some lings out first. He wants to get some aggression on here. And again, I like this. This is really, really hard to wall off. If Moro goes for an early command center, it could prove to be a problem for him. So Morrow, it looks like he is definitely going for that one Rax expand, has a Reaper coming out, and now he's going to go ahead and save up some of his minerals, indeed he is, checking for an Overlord or something like that, and going to throwing down that command center. Boom! There it is! Hatchery about 50% complete there, so not as early as it could be, but not too bad either. And look at this, that pull first into a Roachworn. He is going to be ready, Railgun will be ready for this Reaper as soon as it shows up. It's not even completely popped out of that barracks yet. About 80% to go, there's that full wall off, but again, this base could be in trouble if Ling starts showing up here in the production tab, that getting that Roachworn. Couple Ling's heading out, you probably need at least 4 to 6 if you're going to do some damage to that base, but as it stands, they're taking the long way around while the Reaper is heading down straight down Main Street Boulevard Lane to the Zerg base. However, the Queen is already going to pop out, and that Queen really generally spends doom for those Reapers. Queen is ready to rock, this base is going to pop out here too. Reaper moving on in with his jetpack, taking shots from that queen, already out. Look out, KD8 charge, knocking everybody back. The Reaper down to 12 hit points and is going to live. No problem, so to disrupt mining just a little bit, but that's about it. Ling's up here, actually going to chase down this Marine and kill it. Marine, what are you doing? Oh, wrong place to be, Marine. I was wrong. These Lings actually do get some damage off here. If they can take down this SCV before the bunker finishes, and they do, they do manage to halt. The bunker production, maybe a cancel on the command center. Nope, command center is finished. Reapers here, goodbye, Lings. The Reaper doing a good job of cleaning up this Ling infestation, but again, a slight delay on that bunker. I guess Morrow wouldn't worry too much about that, but again, think if there were four to six Lings here, probably could have stopped the construction on that. Probably could have stopped the construction on the bunker and possibly killed it as well. So now there are some Roaches heading out. KD8 charge knocking all three of them back there. Roaches heading out across the map. If there are only Reapers to defend, there is a Marauder coming, which is very useful indeed. Marauder doing extra damage against armored units, which is what Roaches are. Can they kind of sneak around? They might be able to sneak around here, and they are just going right for the run by Widowmine, setting up two. But the Roaches are disrupting all of the mining at this second base. Very nicely done. Just a quick little Roach attack. Not really trying to do too much here. Not getting any SCV kills. Just making sure that mining does not happen here at all. The Marauder range, though, is very nice indeed. It does have a range of 6, as Roaches have a range of 4, so Marauder is very good against Roaches, both in ranging and in the extra damage they do to armored units, which is 10 damage instead of 5. So the Roaches end up dead, but again, mining was stopped here for just a little bit. Has Morrow lost anything to this point? Yeah, he lost that one Marine, but that was it. Now Banshee into Cloaked Banshee coming up for Morrow. Railgun really should be thinking about taking a third base sometime soon. Not necessarily saving up his money to do so. Uh, maybe he is. There's a drone heading out. No. Drone heading out to mine, so going really heavy on this two base play, going for a quick spire, which is an excellent answer to a uh, early starport with Banshees here. Did he see that? No, Railgun did not actually see that. Reaper coming out again, trying to kill some stuff. KD8 charge, boom, blowing up on the creep, sending creep flying everywhere. That's about it, though. Not too much hassle. And another command center being used to wall this off. Interesting. 
by Morrow. I guess he wants the wall, then he'll probably lift this off and land it over here as his third base as soon as he has an army big enough to defend this without that wall. Reaper, Hellion, Widowmine. Interesting trio heading up, taking for a third base. There is not one. Oh, I'm getting a creep tumor. Nicely sniped off. Widowmine burrowing here, waiting for a drone to show up and getting a shot off on that Overlord. Not enough to kill it, obviously, but still doing a pretty good job uh, hitting it there as well. Overseer comes in, saw that Banshee actually morphing in an Overseer to try to see if that Banshee is going to cloak anytime soon. And she is. I mean, that but the cloak is just about finished. Overseer might be able to help see it if it wants to. Nope. Nope. Doesn't want to. There is a spore crawler here, though, and a queen. So I think this line should be just fine. Some shot, 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 and cloak. Could I try to cloak? Yes, does get the cloak off. Where's that overseer? Does end up getting a drone kill. Yes, has two drone kills. Overseer somewhere flying around. Trying to get all the way over there. Did actually take a shot from that widow mine. That the overseer should have known was there, but that's A-OK. -okay. Gonna try to take a third. Once again, widow mine is present. Relgan, you know this. It's already shot two of your units. Overseer flying around and is going to see that Widow Mine. Can it actually get a shot off and kill the Overseer or possibly the drone first? Widow Mine shot does get the drone. Ah, that's so annoying for Railgun there. Banshee trying to snipe things down, but staying in range of the Mutas and that Overseer. And she goes down a little bit unnecessarily there by Morrow. APM right now, 292 to 166 overall throughout the game. But right now, Railgun playing at about 400, 350, 250 for the friend Morrow. Swooping down from the right side. We have some Hellions and a Reaper sneaking on in. Trying to kill this Queen. Trying to kill some workers. The workers are not running or splitting very accurately. But the Queens set up a nice surround here. Getting some shots off. These guys are dead. They know it. There's nowhere for them to go. Just uh, kill as many drones as possible. And then get on out of there if you can. A lot of drones have died so far. Nine and possibly ten. Yes, does get to ten. But everybody gets cleaned out. The Muta is now flying around. It is their turn to be on the offensive. There's a missile turret. There are some Marines mixed in too. And the Mutas flying on in. Are they waiting for reinforcements? No, no more Mutas in production. Missile attack and Carapace on the way for Railgun. And the Marines dancing back and forth trying to play Muta defense. That third base wants to try and land, but with the Mutas out, that could be a little bit difficult. Roach is in production. Galil reconstitution coming up too for Railgun. And plus one, plus one with combat shield on the way for Morrow. Mmm, free medevacs, possibly. Some pretty good micro here from Railgun. And no, the medevac ends up living. Oh, that Muta almost dies. Very, very low on hit points. Down to six hit points, but again, regenerates health very quickly with that tissue regeneration ability. Flying back in again, catching a free marine. But that group of marines a little bit too big, especially considering they do have stim. They do have that medevac support, making them that much more strong. Third base here for Railgun does know there's a third base for the Terran player. Should be moving up to a fourth base. At some point soon, we're going to take a look and see if we can figure that one out. But yeah, the Muta's just flying back and forth, trying to pick off individual Marines that stray a little bit too far from the group, and he does end up dead to that Glaive Worm attack. Knocking down these rocks just for an additional attack path. Again, look at this. You can just walk around and up, and you're at the same place. I mean, it doesn't really necessarily do much except take a little bit of time. <laughs> take a little bit of time off of your commute every day. These Muta's are getting a lot more attacks in than I thought was possible. Muta's trying to fly in and harass this, but nope. Good placement of the missile turret. Static defense, so darn useful. I'm surprised more pros don't do this. Muta's don't fly in there. Muta's no, what are you doing? All right, Muta's just decided that life was not worth living. Flew in and got massacred by these marines. Roaches and ravagers sneaking up along this right side. Not taking this central path. Railgun does not want to walk down here. And I guess if there are tanks on the high ground, that could be bad news. He just doesn't know because he's not holding the Zelnaga watchtowers as Morrow is right now. One and two marines holding the Zelnaga watchtowers. Roach Ravager Group, he knows it's Marine Marauder and he does not care. He's going to go for this thing. Do they have plus one, plus one? They do have plus one, plus one. But guess what? So do the Marines and the Marauders here for Morrow. Grosso Bile being thrown down and taken out a Widowmine. Nicely played. No Overseer with this army, though. That might be a bit of a problem here for our Zerg player. No, using Corrosa Bile on them. Very effectively indeed. Corrosa Bile is being tossed on down and getting every single one of those Widowmines. Another one does manage to burrow on in and get a shot off. Then no, it does not. The Roach was focusing on ends up dead, standing face to face now. The Roaches and the Ravagers, but stimming forward here is Morrow. It's going to be very close indeed. Cross of Bile landing and dodged ably once again by Morrow. And yes, forcing a retreat for Railgun. Ravagers forced to get a heck on out of there, and they do. Reinforcements that were going up the center of the map to end up going home as well. Some reinforcements for Morrow setting up at the top of this ramp. And flying up, trying to pick off these Ravagers on their own. Cross of Bile is being thrown down to dissuade. 
dissuade that pursuit, and they manage to do so. Reinforcing Roaches pop on up, though, and Moro is severely outnumbered right now. He knows it. He loses a couple Marines, picks up, and gets the heck on out of there because there are no Mutas in the air. These medevacs are going to go unchecked for quite a while. Banshee tries to fly on in, but this Queen can spot it. Is there an Overseer with this army? Is there a Spore Crawler here? No, how is there not a Spore Crawler here, Railgun? You know there are Cloak Banshees. All right, Overseer just about to morph in. Morph in. The Banshee did have two kills. Three kills before she gets taken down by the Queens. The anti-air, very excellent on those units. Pushing in with Marines. Marine heavy. Surprising composition here for Morrow, just because Roaches and Ravagers do very well against Marines. Widow mine shots possible? Nope, not with Corrosive Vile around. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. Again, big time shots. Marine left behind. No, everyone gets picked up and sent to safety. Splitting off a drop that way, heading towards the Zerg base while wow, these guys go home. The empty medevacs head on back. Another base here trying to be constructed. Gets cancelled. Nice, nice cancel there indeed. Banshees, another drop down that way doing some damage. But the big attack right here. Roaches in front line. These guys not attacking. Needs to get in there and assist. Taking out a barracks though is nice. Getting rid of the, some of these production structures. And once again, sneaking on in. SCVs trying to get from the backside to take out a lot of these Ravager Crystal Biles. Dealing with them very easily indeed. Morrow does have that plus one, plus one, plus two. Plus two is on the way, but is he outnumbered? He might be outnumbered. Another attack up here with Marines. And Roach is trying to clean that one up while these guys are still alive. Taking out a lot of drones. The big attack up this way, though, might get cleaned up as well. The Ravagers trying to hold their own. Chugging down Corrosive Biles. Not really hitting much of anything as per usual. Roaches and Ravagers taking out Marines as they're trying to pop out of those barracks. And totally cleaned up. Meanwhile, this group gets cleaned up as well. This medevac trying to fly on out of there. And another drop back here with just a couple Marines trying to take out as many drones as possible. 17 drones have been killed so far. Morrow has not lost a single SCV. He's really done a good, 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 done a good job in babysitting in that regard. Roach is taking out yet another Marine, and they do, but another push up here with Liberator support. This time, a lot of Roaches in production. Roach Ravager pretty good against this. This hatchery gonna fall with that plus one, plus one there. I keep expecting plus two, plus two, but it's not there yet. They get the hatch. The drones are long distance mining now. Picking on up, and Liberator shots hitting everything. Crossbow knocking both of those guys down, though. And once again, the Medivac's choosing to fly on in instead of retreating. That Medivac trying to retreat on home. And pushing into the main base here, there are a couple roaches uh, ready to go, but these are marauders, and then they do have the plus two, plus two, 12 damage versus armored units. These roaches not going to look very good at all whatsoever, but they do manage to force a retreat from Morrow. These medevacs are under no threat whatsoever to die, just landing back and forth, bouncing back and forth, forcing Railgun to have units all over the place to deal with this. Does manage to clean it up. Another push up here with roaches and ravagers. The plus two, plus two has finished for the Zerg army as well. Just standing right on in. Not many Corrosive Biles being used here. And a nice concave from Morrow just surrounding these roaches. The ravagers getting killed too. Corrosive Biles being landed. Nope. Once again, pushing forward there was Morrow to dodge it. And a Railgun's army gets cleaned up once again. It is 90, ooh, 108 to 115 total supply. Railgun is in the lead. Did lose that fourth base. He's trying to replant it as best he can, but look at this. Morrow sitting on four bases, not even getting the gas here because he doesn't need it with his current composition. Plus three attack on the way for Morrow, getting all but Marines and Marauders and Medivacs and any Widow Mines in production. No, but he does have a few already on the field, too, to be exact. And I just don't know if this Roach Ravager play is going to work out for Railgun in the long run. This Medivac is scouting very nicely. Seeing what's going on in the space, noticing the long distance mining, recognizing there was a base replanted there, even though he doesn't know. Oh, he does know that it's there. Never mind. <laughs> Pushing up once again is Railgun. The ro roaches in the front, Ravagers in the back as they, as they have that extra range. Throwing down Corrosive Biles and actually preventing himself from pursuing there just a little bit. Do they want to try to take down that orbital command? They do, but they also want to deal with the army as much as possible. Corrosive Biles landing on some of those reinforcements, but from the top and the left side, Morrow coming in with that plus two, plus two. Another drop down here of Marines going to take down that hatchery very, very easily. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, I do not think this is looking good at all for the Zerg player. Corrosive Biles are actually hitting and Morrow just doesn't care at this point. His Marines and his Marauders are doing excellent job. Roaches do finally manage to come in and clean that up. That little drop Marines trying to kill as many drones as they can, but they are just dropping in to the fire. All of them end up dead. Morrow not paying particular attention. Really more worried about this area in which he does manage to defend his fourth base, and he's got a fifth base up and running, turning that one into a planetary fortress, and the medevac heads on back home. 121 to 125 total supply. We can hear more Ravagers getting morphed on in. And again, just the continuous spread, spread of Marines, of Marauders, of medevacs, of Widow Mines. Getting a couple more extractors here is Railgun. He needs that gas. I would like to see him push on up to a tier 3 type attack. But look at this. The Terran army is here while the Zerg army is over here. Stimming right on forward 
There's that plus three attack finish. No, but it doesn't really matter. There's nothing here to defend against this. Standing in the middle of everything, killing overlords, killing creep tumors, killing drones. Another attack up this way. Is Railgun going to base race this thing? He's trying to push up into the main. Can he do it? I don't know. The defending army looking very scary indeed, especially with that plus three attack. Can he force it away? These guys just standing on and killing as many overlords as possible. Not even really necessarily going after tech structures or drones at all. A queen ends up falling. Railgun does manage to make it up into the main base, but he's being chased. There is hot pursuit from these marines and these marauders. Corsa Bile is being tossed on down, taking out supply depots. But once again, this Terran army is being dealt with very slowly by small groups of roaches trickling in. Losing a hatch there. Losing a lot of drones too. 34 drones have been killed thus far, and that's it. A good game. Well played from Railgun. Railgun is defeated. Marl's victorious, and Railgun has left the game. Woo! That was some amazing pressure there from Railgun, or from Morrow, rather. Morrow, with the drops at pretty much every base at some point during this game, the drops, the attacks right up the middle, getting his upgrades as you need to do against Zerg. And Railgun, again, he had good upgrades. He made some good trades economically, but in the end, it's hard to out economic Marine Marauder Medivac. Morrow ended up losing 15,900 minerals and 2,000 gas, while Railgun lost 19,000 minerals and 6,900 gas. I mean, that was, whew, that is a lot of dead gas there for Railgun. And he lost it. How many, those SCVs, where did the SCVs die? There we go. 45 SCVs were killed during that game. For some reason, Widow Mines were up here, and I didn't quite see the difference there. But regardless, I mean, look at that. 152 Marines died. Those guys are pretty darn cheap. In the end, 151 Roaches. That's gas. 24 Ravagers. That's gas. Seven Mutas that died unnecessarily. Those are gas, too. And hatcheries got killed at the same time. Morrow, which is everywhere, made really good decisions, dodging corrosive biles, defending bases as best as he could. Did he end up losing a base there? I'm trying to remember. No, no. He lost one that was under construction, but he never lost, lost an actual mining base. And if you can do that against Zerg while taking down their bases, you're going to be in a good spot. So that's it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.